Jimmy Ligon's Drunk, man. This is a record. Now, Specialty has been on my radar since I was a little kid and bought my first little Richard 45, so I knew that label means good. And boy, is this good. Uh, Jimmy Ligon's. Now, I started out as a 78 collector, and the real R&B collectors only collected 45s because they're all white. And 45s is just, you know, it's got the big hole and all that. And it, it looks like Happy Days or something like that. But actually, rock and roll is music of the poor people, the poor blacks, the poor whites. They bought it on 78. They didn't buy it on a, a 45. So I didn't know it was uncool for years to have these records. In fact, uh, Ron, Ron, um, uh, Ron McKernan uh, is how I knew him, but Pigpen. Uh, I had found out that this guy knew about these old blues records and R&B things that I was finding, and it was all true. Off to tell you about that sometime. And uh, anyway, uh, I got this record drunk, and I played it right away because it was on specialty. And boy, is it special! Boy, is this a special record! Uh, and so it used to be not on most people's radar. It was not any kind of top forty. R&B people, it was, a, it was a hit on R&B, but, you know, it doesn't, you know, it effectively wasn't really well known except for the collectors until they started reissuing that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyway, drunk, reach for the knob and miss the whole damn door. <laughs> 